But first tonight, a heartbreaking story. A kindergartner killed. A six-year-old boy has died after being hit by a pickup truck. Derek Johnson was visiting his aunt in Providence when he was struck Sunday in Providence. Tonight, his family is mourning a young life lost much too soon. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan joins us live from the scene with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, that's right. If you look behind me, you can see a memorial. I hope you can see it here. People are also gathered, and it has been growing all day long. The family, of course, grieving the loss of a six-year-old boy. They tell us he was excited on his way to the circus when tragedy struck. A radiant smile, a six-year-old boy with an uncompromised energy for life. The spot where Derek Johnson lost his life, now marked by his stuffed animals and balloons that blow in the gentle breeze. He was getting out excited and my son's in a window getting excited to see him and then that just happened. Derek's aunt, who chose not to be identified on camera, tells us Derek was being dropped off to go to the circus with her son when he was hit by a car on Rosedale Street. Coming, going to the circus and he came out a little bit in front of his mom and the car just came out of nowhere and just took him. Trying to come to terms with how this happened. Hard. Because it does everything together, like absolutely everything together. Uh, it's difficult. I don't know how we will, but by the grace of God, we have to. His family took time to reflect on his bright light on Monday. Energetic, playful, loving, super loving. He was just a loving child, loved to be loved. We did receive a statement from Derek's school this afternoon. We want to read that for you. They said, quote, our hearts go out to this young child's family in their grief and our school and district crisis teams, including numerous counseling professionals as well as social workers, have been mobilized to offer support to friends, classmates and school staff who will surely be deeply impacted and saddened by the death of such a young student. Now, the driver in this case did appear in court this morning where he pleaded not guilty to a charge of driving without a license. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.